Menu narration is turned off by default. Press A to continue or use the D-pad to enable menu narration. EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to showcase the finest young golfers from around the globe. A Here at Harbortown Golf Links, it's live first round coverage of the Hilton Head Invitational. We've got a full field ready to get rolling on this Thursday as we get a look at the early leaderboard. A number of folks in contention, including our leader, so we start our day at Harbor Town, where finesse and imagination and shot making take precedence over power. First hole, a narrow 410 yard par four. Here we go. There's a good start, that one in the fairway here to get the tournament rolling. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third. Nota, uh, this player very simply has the look of a winner. The bounce and the step, the smile, the ease with which they're playing this next round. Nothing like getting that first win in your hip pocket, right? You know it. Well, over the course of your career, there's a handful of things that you always remember. You remember your first win as a junior golfer. You remember your first big win as an amateur. Now, your first win as a professional sticks in your mind for the rest of your life, but this is the professional game. You've got to keep building. And now down to a man who knows a little bit about this golf course, Nota Begay, with a look here at the birdie putt. And players of this caliber should make this on a regular basis pretty flat with just a slight movement to the left. Boy, that's a good stroke. Just a fraction off target, but you can't get the speed any better than that. Okay, that's in for par here at the first. And she's going to hold on here at even par. On now to the second hole, the first of three par fives here at Harbor Town. At a mere 502 yards, it is also the shortest of these par fives. Any misses right or left of the fairway could block you out from going for the green in two. But a drive of the short grass could open up one of the best scoring opportunities on the course. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. Really hit that second shot on the button to this par five, but Frank couldn't get it to stop. Yeah, too good, too long, sadly.
got it there, but not quite on target. That finished off for par, you with the second, and she'll remain at even par. This third hole at 469 yards is pure harbor town. It's narrow, the emphasis here is on hit your tee shot in play, and a par is a good score, I promise you. Yes, sir, that's well done. This nota, her second from the fairway. She's looking at 141 to the hole, sitting in the front left hole location. DJ Tour, Corn Ferry Tour, I don't care. That is a great shot. A dead on look here for Birdie. Okay, nicely done. That's in for Birdie here at three. Two hundred yard par three fourth offering a classic Pete Dye risk reward design. You have to carry the water hazard running the length of the hole. Better to miss right than short or long, where a thirsty lagoon lurks. That is left and that is trouble. Oh, that was just never online and it will be into the hazard here left of this par three green. So now she'll take her drop and get set here to play her third. This is a 16-footer. Pretty good read there. Definitely good speed, and it just skips a foot or so by. So finish that off as that is in for double bogey. And she's gonna fall here to plus one. The fifth hole at Harbor Town is the second of the three par fives at 549 yards. A good drive should leave players with the chance to try and reach this green in two, but one larger and one smaller bunker protect the left side of this deep but narrow green.
No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Had half the equation on that shot, the distance. Not quite the accuracy. Missed it. Hair to the right. Yeah, not quite a foul ball. Kept it in the ballpark, and well, let's see how good you can chip. Just gonna sneak on by. That one finished off. It is a part here at five. And she'll stay at one over. Onward now to the 419 yard, par four six. Dog leg right. Best to aim the tee shot to the left of the fairway bunker on the right. Land there, and the green is very accessible, and a birdie might be in the offing. Wind pushing this one a little to the right. Yeah, that's a good tee shot right there. Got a little extra run out. That's where you want to be. Wasn't right down the middle, but it wasn't bad at all. Coming at this second shot from the right side of the fairway. It might have been perhaps a little conservative, but right in the heart of the green. Now this, for birdie. He does have a bit of an incline to navigate, but other than that, this shouldn't move much at all. Oh, yes! Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. On to the seventh at 195 yards. This one of the tougher par threes on the course. The water shouldn't be a big issue. More pressing, those two giant trees that serve like sentries at the front of the green. Any ball that gets hung up in there could very likely come down in that bunker that encircles about 90% of the green. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass.
Yep, well done. That's in for par here at seven. And her score is going to stay right where it is. Now to the hole many consider the most difficult of all here at Harbor Town, the par 4 8. Finding the fairway is an absolute must off the tee as you will need to have the right angle of attack to approach this long, narrow green. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. Birdie putt down to Iona. Yeah, it's a long putt, so pace is important, but there's not a whole lot to it. I fancy the chances of getting this close. I think that's what you want to do. Good lag putt. Yeah, they can't all go in. Okay, back in for par here at the eighth. And her score is going to stay right where it is. One thing you don't see too often on the PGA Tour, 332-yard par fours. But that's what we've got here on the closing hole to this front side. Before you think about knocking this on, though, take note of the large bunker that completely protects the front of the green. Eighty yards to the flagstick. Ball was always heading a little bit right, but inside 10 feet, there's nothing wrong with that on this hole. Yep, that's nicely done. It's a birdie here at the ninth. Yeah, that will mean it's a front nine score of 35, one under par. We head back out from the clubhouse to start the back side, beginning here with a 451-yard par 4 tent. Anything left could very well wind up in that lagoon, but anything on the fairway could lead to an under par start to this second nine.
All right, in the fairway. Now a second from just under 180 yards. I really like her golf swing, and that's another good shot. She should be happy with that one. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. And Rich, this is a green I am familiar with, and this putt is slower than most people realize. Slightly up that slope, a little bit of movement from right to left. Mm, yeah, that's a pretty good putt. Just a little bit off the mark. Safely in. It's a par here at the 10th. And she'll stay one under for the tournament. This 11th hole at 436 yards is another test requiring precision over power. This fairway narrows the nearer it gets to this green, which is surrounded by four unique bunkers. That one's going to hit hard. Get a little bit of run out, and that is going to wind up just fine. Second shot. Good look at the green. Well, that was ambitious. There's not a lot of green on that right side, but safely on. Sizable putt from 16 feet. So that brushed in for par here at 11, and she'll remain at one under par. The 12th hole at 430 yards is one of the rare dogleg rights on this course. If you can steer your ball into the fairway off the tee, you'll be left with a very manageable approach to a green flanked by bunkers both left and right. Nothing to fault there, safely in the fairway. From the fairway, Noda, her second coming up. She's left herself with 153 yards to the hole. Pin is in the far back portion of the screen. That's a decent sized green. It's not bad, just a little past the hole. Quite online, and that'll drift a couple feet by. Oh, 
that one safely in. It's par here at 12. And her score is going to stay right where it is. This is one of the more visually striking holes here at Harbor Town, the 373 yard par 413. You've got trees flanking both sides, a few of which spring up right in the middle of the left bunker, leading to an approach to a slightly elevated green with Allen's Dye's signature cypress planks all around. Good work off the tee here. That is safely into the short grass, just left of center. This is where club selection is so important. Second shot into that stiff breeze. Well judged, that is in for par here at 13. And her score is going to stay right where it is. On to the 14th now. This one almost a mirror image of number four. It's a par three at 192 yards. At four, the danger was water left. Here it's on the right with a generous bailout area left of the green. Okay, center of the green, good shot. This for birdie now at 14. And this certainly would be a bonus if it goes in. You just need to make sure you get it there and give yourself a chance. Never up, never in. That's a good stroke, just a fraction off target, but you can't get the speed any better than that. No issues there. It is a par here at 14, and her score is going to stay right where it is. Now to the lone par five on this backside, the longest hole on the course, the 588-yard par five 15. This one is a toughie featuring a narrow landing area off the tee with bunkers on both sides, as well as a somewhat blind second shot requiring a pretty good right to left angle of attack. That was flirting with disaster the whole way, and it's going to wind up hopping into the bunker.
has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Okay, sensible play right there, and that one on deck. A look at birdie here at 15. And this is one you'd expect to make more often than not. Not too much undulation, maybe just a slight move to the right. Oh, needed just a little bit of a turn, but that will somehow stay right on the edge. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And her score is going to stay right where it is. We start to make our way toward the blue waters of Calabogie Sound as we come to the 434-yard par 416th. A well-placed tee shot will leave you with a fairly short iron into a small egg-shaped green. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. Went right down the middle, but it wasn't bad at all. Coming at this second shot from the right side of the fairway. Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't cash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. Well, those are the shots that turn what you'd like to be a leisurely stroll out on the golf course into a day of hard work. Yeah, what could have been a tap-in is now going to be a grind. Oh, right on line all the way. It is a par here at 16. And her score is going to stay right where it is. Two holes remain as we come to the par 3 17th at 174 yards. You'll want to aim right of that one lone tree in the distance, almost like what you see on the South Carolina state flag. And be sure to steer clear of the bunkers here because making par from there, not a sure thing. This could be good. Uh, that's a quality shot right there. Just left of the hole and a birdie opportunity coming up. Oh, 
finishing strong. That's in for birdie here at 17. What a finishing hole this is. At 472 yards, the par 4 18th. Most will try to aim just right of that Hilton Head Lighthouse in the distance. And that sets up an approach with trouble left and long and a large bailout area to the right. And this a tee shot that fits the eye, and that'll be just fine. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Yeah, that's how to end it. Back-to-back -back birdies at 17 and 18. Our featured golfer in a good position, you'd have to say. Just three shots off the pace after round one. Just got to keep the leaders in check, though. Can't afford to get, uh, well, further. Thank you. 